Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. This is this is AC20. Also, thank you for the birthday wishes. There were over 3,000 comments in the first 90 minutes of birthday love. Uh, what's what are we up to now? 7.6 thousand comments, and most of them are sending birthday love. A lot of them are your answer to my question at the end of the last video about daily uploads, and then some of them are hating on me for using a turbo controller. But anyways. Thank you again for all the love, and it's a new night in Animal Crossing, and I need to go talk to Sahara. And then I bought a rug and realized exactly how poor I was. And I'm not crazy about this rug. And I did so much more of this area, but I just did it on the couch, hanging out by myself on my birthday. So I do what I want, and you're gonna see my progress in the morning. Great. Good morning! Lindbergh moved in today. Yay, that's Isabelle's whole spiel. Awesome. I woke up today to several people letting me know about their turnip prices. Monday seems to be just horrible for everyone, and Tuesday seems to be a little bit better. My turnip prices this morning are 140, which if I were to sell all of my turnips, I would make a profit of 1,044,000 bells, which is pretty fantastic. I started with 2 million, now I have three. I call that absolute win. Full disclosure, I've had a lot of people hit me up between when I bought my 2.2 million bells of turnips and now and a lot of people have invited me to their island so I could sell my turnips but I wanted to hold out for a natural date of a high buying price of someone who didn't skip time and you know what you know what I'm just gonna put it out there I don't want to go to someone's island who skips time I think using a turbo controller is fine and you know what I'm gonna if you disagree with that I'm gonna need you to get off of my back all the way off of my back and just let me enjoy my game. You enjoy your game, I enjoy my game. Great, we're gonna have a great time? Great, awesome. Someone on Twitter, Lucas G from the Netherlands hit me up, a uh, real, real legend of a dude, and they had a 536 buying price for turnips. That's a natural date. He's in the Netherlands, so he's in the afternoon, which is great, so my turnips won't spoil, and there's no time manipulation, still not a time traveler. And after selling all of the turnips, this this took a lot of trips, by the way. This was like almost almost a full hour of going back and forth. I made a profit of 10,386,340 bells. Perfect. I'm pretty sure the stock market is a Nook Miles achievement. Yep, it looks like we hit all five goals in one day. Is this for having a thousand bells or selling a thousand turnips? Oh, it's making bells. 100,000, 1 million, 10 million. Nice. So, uh, <laughs> that was great. Also, you guys are gonna see this in the thumbnail of me putting down money bags in the same place that my turnips were. This takes so much work. <laughs> like, this is not fun, coming in here and dropping all this. I'd much rather go to the ATM and just deposit it in there, but you gotta do it for the thumbnail, right? Right? Because YouTube... It's gotta, it's gotta be good and somewhat clickbaity, but also honest at the same time. And then I have to pick all this up and then I have to put it into the computer. But then, we get to pay off our home loan! Yay! Also, I just learned last night that the Able Sisters sister label, she could come visit you on your island, which is really awesome. Now I need to spend like an hour putting all this in the bank. I think it's just hysterical seeing that pop up above my head. Also, looking back to yesterday's comments, when you guys answered my, my question toward the end of the video, which was like, how do you guys feel about me not doing everyday videos? And people are like, oh my god, your everyday videos are the reason that I get up and, and I, I, I'm staying sane during quarantine. But don't feel any pressure. Don't feel any pressure. I think, like, I might dedicate one day a week to me taking off. Maybe, like, I don't know, Wednesdays I won't do an upload, but the other six days of the week I will. I think that'd be healthy. What day of the week is it now? Tuesday. So yeah, maybe tomorrow, not do a video. I'm still gonna do, like, some daily stuff, like, you know, my daily chores and shake trees and move buildings, but... Not, not the stress of like, making a video and everything. Also again, shout out to Lucas. <laughs> Real dude. He's in the Netherlands. He tweeted at me about the sale price, like, I don't know, four hours ago. I was sound asleep. And then he's just been hosting for people ever since. Just random people who saw his one tweet and saw that I was tagged in it. That's the reason I had no problem tipping him 400,000 bells. Always 
Always tip the people that host you. Always. Whether it's bells, nook miles, DIY stuff that's valuable, furniture that they don't have, whatever it is. It's just the nicest way to show your appreciation. In yesterday's comments, I learned something new. Remember how I was like, oh, I can't add these together? If you long hold and drop on top of it, they combine, which is really awesome. Did not know that was a thing. And also to the people who, <laughs> to, to the people who watched yesterday's video and saw me take those gold nuggets and the gold shovel and put them in the bin and uh, called me a scumbag for it. Thanks so much for that. And just to let you know, the people who make a program called PK Hex, which is a Pokemon save game editor, they also made one for Animal Crossing. So you can literally cover your entire island in gold nuggets and bags of 99k bells and stuff like that. So just because, oh, the duplication glitch and stackable item. No, any single item in the game, you can super easily spawn into existence. Like, not hard at all. And there's definitely people who are doing that. That's the reason that I threw those in the bin. If you're gonna gift someone 30 gold nuggets, you're expecting to lose it anyways. And you have so much extra, okay? That's that's why I did it. Oh, uh, it looks like it looks like some of my hyacinths crossbred. That's awesome. Anything else? Oh, the tulips as well. Nice. Nice. <laughs> My money tree is right outside of my front door. I did not even realize that. Oh, we got Gulliver today. Wow, I finally have a hot item that uses my hardwood and iron. It's the natural square table. Huh. I'm very excited to do this. 12.12 12 and a quarter million bells. Tom. Tommy. Tom. Trash Panda. There you go. Sweet, I finally finished paying off my last home loan. Do you have anything to say about this? You paid off your home renovation loan in full, again. As of this moment, you're debt free and set for life in an amazing spacious island home. Yes, yes. I know you're just waiting for me to offer you another expansion, but we've reached the end of that. But I have something else to offer you, for free of course, Nook Incorporated guarantees our work for life. As a small token of our appreciation, we're proud to offer you a lifetime of free exterior renovations. Limit one per day, terms and conditions apply, yes, yes, I'm legally required to say that. I hope Nook Incorporated can still be a service to you for years to come, and once again, congratulations. Oh, we'll check that out. Is it design catalog? Oh. Oh, curved shingles, stone roofs. Oh, the black stone. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's even hotter. Oh, oh, uh, that's kind of boring. Yeah, a nice, powerful white door. That's classic. Oh my God, there are so many doors. <gasps> white fancy door. That's a fancy door. Uh, I feel like there's no personality to that. I've never looked at this page before. Oh, and my mailbox. Oh, wow. I've had so many possible mailbox upgrades that I just have not looked at. Oh, we even get a preview at nighttime. And with our curtains open and close. Oh, uh, I swear the attention to detail of this game is just fantastic. Yes, I would like to place this order. Interesting design choice. It'll be done by tomorrow morning. Nice. Is there is there no Nook Miles achievement for paying off my house to the fullest? Well, that's a shame. However, today I'm only 17 balloons away from getting the uh, the golden slingshot, so that's pretty awesome. In addition, I'm going to be moving the nook's cranny and building one of my two staircases that I need for my house. So let's see if I plan this out perfectly. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Okay, well I kind of dropped the ball on that. What structure is too, oh. What structure is still too close? Oh, it's because nook's cranny is currently located there that I can't place it here. Uh, so we have to spend a day moving it somewhere far away, and then we can place it there. Uh, game, come on. Come on, game. You're not supposed to do that, game. You're supposed to be smarter than that, game. Oh, and I need to put a bridge here, don't I? Okay, so for temporary moving day, we're going to be moving Nook's Cranny completely out of the way. But, hear me out here. 
today, now that we have a frivolous amount of money and I don't need to worry about the buying prices of turnips, we can just make sure that we buy 70k worth of stuff. Because there's going to be a day that Nook's Cranny is closed down for while it upgrades to the next level. All we need to do is come in here and buy 70k worth of stuff. And the way I look at it is I could just buy a whole bunch of oranges for 400 bells, go to another island, sell them for 500 bells, and use my turbo controller to just buy all these fruits while I go make a bagel. Great. I, uh... I just came back from my bagel. Why am I outside of my house? How come I'm not in Nook's Cranny buying- I bought no oranges. What happened? I still have my original amount of money. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, well, kiddos, like I said, I need to buy 70k worth of stuff, so... Looks like I'm doing it the old-fashioned way now. I need to do this 35 times. And just like that, I now know that 100% I have purchased 70,000 bells worth of stuff from these two. Ooh, look, more kitchen stuff. Hooray. What's really funny, though, is when I was eating my breakfast, I was like, I really want orange juice. I don't know why. I just really want an orange juice. So before I was talking about I might take Wednesdays off. I just remembered that uh, Joe Merrick from Sarabee hit me and a bunch of other content creators up, and we're going to be doing live streams of raids over on twitch.tv slash austinjohnplays, and it's going to be a, a pretty cool... Is she wearing my shirt? Are you wearing my Mew shirt? You're not even talking about it, you're just wearing it. That's awesome! <laughs> I did hear that if you make custom designs and hang them up in the Able Sister shop, your villagers can wear them. I just never saw one of mine wearing it. So I just went to the airport and I was like, yeah, visit a random friend's island. And they were like, all right, we're going to one. And I was like, okay. Apparently one of my friends randomly is currently having their, their, their island open. So that worked out great. I mean, in theory, I could just stay here buying these apples and stimulate this nook's cranny enough for them to, uh, for them to upgrade here, too. <laughs> All right, time to check my mail. Sorry about the nuggets, have some weeb glasses. Thanks, B. More for the Zen Garden from Liv. Mayu says, happy birthday, keep make video. Thanks, Mod Mayu. Since you messed up your birthday dates, here's something to make it up. Hashtag B Day Twin. Love the Animal Crossing videos. Thanks, Big D John. Will this fit with your new aesthetic? It's a camping sign from the iOS Animal Crossing game. Huh. Brandon sent an amp for the guitar. Awesome, thanks. Oh my god, everyone's using the, the birthday balloons. What's a skeleton's favorite plant? A bonsai tree. Thanks. I don't actually know Russian LMAO, but have some cucumber because you're quite the cute-cumber. Thanks, Lemmy. Someone actually left a comment was like, this person doesn't actually know Russian, they're just using Google Translate. Alpha with a shiny new neon diner clock. Ooh. And a diner sofa. Jack Andy, if possible, keep up the daily videos. Thanks, my dude. So, I got an amp, which is amazing. This really dope campsite sign, I'm assuming that's from Pocket Camp. Someone sent me an actual birthday cake. This is gonna sound horrible, but like... As someone who just spent their birthday home alone, because... People aren't allowed to gather in groups, like, this means a lot. Thank you. Uh, there's also this, this rocket lamp, which is amazing. It's like, it, it's, it's, it, it's a lava lamp. Which is so good for a mood. I'm really interested to see if I can customize that. A bamboo lamp that I just put in my pocket prematurely. This diner, uh, sofa. They sent me two of them. And this diner neon clock up there. So my kitchen is looking a lot more like a kitchen now. I just need to get a better table, better countertops, and everything else. <laughs> it's coming along, though. It's coming along. Sadly, I cannot customize the rocket lamp. When it comes to the turnip selling, someone actually told me about a really neat website called turnipprofit.io. Oh, this is part of the data mine. Okay. And basically, you put in your Daisy May price, and then you put in your prices that you've noticed so far. And then it will tell you the range that you can expect to see 
throughout the entire week. So like looking at this, I already know my first three days, right? And then it's using every known pattern in order to determine exactly how many bells you can expect to see. Say for example, this evening, it's gonna be 91. Then it's gonna have a more firm idea. And it's going to tell me literally right here, there's no way I can expect it to be more than 204 bells. So if you plan on doing time traveling and you want to document, you know, your daily sell price or buying prices, then boom, there you go. But at the same time, looking at everything here, I can clearly see that this is the day that uh, it's not going to go up from there. Thursday morning, 203. There's no possible day it's going to be higher than that. So if Thursday I see anything higher than 143 and I'm not traveling to other islands, then yeah, it, it's definitely worth selling it there. I'm running around doing my morning chores and then I remembered we moved to the museum. Oh, wow. Okay, we need to move Stonehenge because it's, it's really in the way, but like walking up to here is pretty amazing. And then especially like when you're down here and you just see the monstrosity of, of fossils in the background, like right here is like the crest where it starts to look amazing. Yes, yeah, Stonehenge needs to move. Yesterday, after I did the update, I didn't notice a decrease in anything as far as the eggs go, but probably had to do with, I, uh, I, I started the day as in the day generated before I did the update. Like, look at this. Not a single stone egg. Ah, that's beautiful. I noticed it with the fish, that the size threes were actually fish and not stone eggs or fish eggs. Now I'm noticing it with the atmosphere more. And probably the trees, their uh, quote unquote container has changed. But now we know that at the beginning of every day, what is in these trees is predetermined. It is not determined once you start going to the tree and start hitting it. So like right now I know one or two of my trees is going to have the uh, the furniture drops. I really like the way this area came out. Oh, I don't think I talked about this last night. So yeah, here's the update to my villager mountain. From the stairway coming up, we have the iron and stone staircase uh, wall because I really like the way it looks when you see it from the side like that. We have the terracotta floor going down here. Here's Kitty Cat's house, finally has the uh, the cat tower. Uh, I've determined that in order to make your village look good or your town or your city to look good, everything needs to have a ground texture. Everything needs to have something. Like your walkway, obviously you don't place anything on top of your walkway, but alongside your walkway you do. And that's what makes it feel lived in. As opposed to like down here where it's not that put together, I, I'm still working on this area and all that blank space makes it feel not lived in. But right here, look at this environment. Shep is just hanging out here. He's fishing. He's standing in a little flower patch. Right here we have an adorable little swing right in front of a tree so you get some... Oh, I can't actually swing on it. So you get some shade on a nice hot summer day. Like this is a beautiful environment right here and that's what I love. Can I sit on half of it? Like the left half? Oh, I can. I gave Bo a whole bunch of flowers right outside of his house. I know he's a big fan of those. Shep, my Italian sheepdog, has, has a pizza pie oven with a margarita pizza in there. And then some more wood and some wood to make his wood. And this is Lindbergh's house. I'm just going to ignore him forever. <laughs> That's the plan. Wow. I don't think that could be much more hidden. I love it. Just a nice quick behind the island dirty ramp up. Oh, it's 98,000 bells. Oh no. Now that it's the PM, I want to see what these boys are going to buy these turnips for. 121. Huh. Oh, that's not better. This morning it was 140. I just noticed how much cherry blossoms are falling from the sky today. It is so adorable. So I've been picking my fruit and shooting down balloons. And this guy decides he wants to start singing again. And he has fleas. I mean, he doesn't like me. Oh no. No, the fleas are bothering him, right? How is that possible? Yeah, I don't even know you. Get off my island. I don't like him so much that I'm not even going to catch his fleas for the achievement. Okay? Let me put it that way. That's how much I do not enjoy Rodney's company. Hi, Bo. You're my favorite. I want to give you something just because I like you so much. Uh... 
This cherry. I'm gonna lay on the floor and eat that. Might even share with the bugs. Cardigan shirt combo. Thanks. I don't know how you became my favorite. You just are. So I know throughout this entire playthrough I've been coming up with lots of designs and using old QR codes and stuff, but now I'm actually going to be taking some inspiration from you guys who reached out to me on Twitter. And for this area, it's alright, it's very stone, I have little patches of this, but I want a big, big zen garden piece i saw this a while ago on like when people were posting old animal crossing designs from the, the 3ds games but someone reached out to me on twitter two days ago unraveled 100. oh oh my god my bear is in here because she bought the mew shirt uh first of all i have to talk to sable she's one of my new favorites oh uh, they're reminiscing on old times with label <laughs> not in front of austin john <laughs> we'll call that payback for last time. I like the red sweatshirt, and I think this would totally match my sweatpants. I'm just afraid I'm gonna look a little bit too much like Tony Soprano if I put this on. Not Tony Soprano. We, we, uh, I don't know. We're, we're an athletic track star. We're just Russian. Okay, so I'm going to search by creator ID unraveled. What is your code? All right, so this is unraveled's Zen Garden. And it's a whole bunch of different directions of sand curves. And once you line them all up on the sand, it looks so good. It's just gonna take a long time for me to save all these. Oh, I'm gonna be uploading these. Just, I need to, uh, I need to tweak some things first. Well, great. Now I have all of these designs saved. There are four sand curves without anything on the outside, four sand curves with horizontal sand, Four sand curves with vertical sand, horizontal sand, vertical sand, and no lines at all. I, I just came in here to craft some imperial fence, and the time changed from 12.59 to 1 o'clock. And I heard the town bells, but also, wait for it. The cuckoo clock goes off at the top of the hour. How amazing is that? <laughs> I want to fill an entire room with cuckoo clocks now. All right, so check it out. I decided to build two small land bridges. I'm gonna probably have the stone walls go over unless I hate the way that looks down the road. I'm gonna be doing this line that I'm walking over now as a full block of just some sort of nice stone, but a full pixel custom path stone. And then this whole area, I'm using the custom floor tool in order to lay out the whole area. And then I'm going to be using the custom designs on top of it or to replace it so I get a better feel of exactly how I want to lay it all out. And I want this to be bigger, don't I? I just learned something really weird. You could just choose the custom design path tool and that will go on top of regular floor. So you can make just continuous paths. Huh. Okay. Maybe I don't need to do a different pattern on the outside then. By the way, I changed my outfit. Now that I've laid out this side with wood, with the little grass path here, I don't like the grass path, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to deal with it because I like the wood surrounding this so much more than I like the stone surrounding this. So that's what we're gonna do. Right, Mr. Dragonfly, who just rubbed his butt in my face? So all in all, this is what it looks like. I have this border of two on the outside. This outermost one is gonna be all imperial fencing. And then this one is gonna be covered up with the new sand. Underneath here, I have all sand. So it should behave like sand. And what I mean by that is, say for example, I wanted to plant a palm tree, which I don't, but if I wanted to, I could. Now it's just a matter of laying in all the circles and lines and stuff. Yay. By the way, for my crossbreeding garden, I came up with a crazy idea. So you see how these purple here, they're just taking up that whole block and it's really kind of ugly. And if I make just the bottom pixel transparent, it should update and the purple should wrap to the dirt. And it does. Now it's purple dirt. If I really wanted to, I could do this for all the different flowers here. Ah, uh, I might do that. I don't know. Orange dirt. That's how you make red sand, people. Simple as that. You don't have to go to a mesa biome. If I wanted to make this dirt path black or red or white or whatever I wanted, 
because I already have this custom design with one transparent pixel, I could just display on ground, display on ground. You know what? I think I hate that. It'd be great for a one wide or two wide path, which is probably not three wide. Oh, first task, we have to place down our rocks. All right, I've, I've laid this out, and now we just need to circle around these things. I am a little ashamed to say how long this took. <laughs> it's now 153. This whole thing, this little tiny area took me about an hour, about a full hour. Just, just raking the sand, just raking the sand in different directions that made me happy. But you know what? This makes me happy. So happy that we have found a new home for our friend. This is Sebastian's new home. He loves the sand. He will be here. He will be happy. And I'm happy that he has a now a, 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 a place for him to be happy. Now the last step is to make sure that he is safe and cannot escape. Although I don't think he will be moving, but still want to make sure that he's safe, right? We were pretty close to our, our balloon popping goal, by the way. Although in theory, I should keep that as, you know, this is where I entered from. That's where the sand goes to. You know what? I think Sebastian's going to be fine. He doesn't seem like he's that interested in moving ever. Just in case you don't know, he doesn't move. <laughs> Just <laughs> I'm being very coy and very playful about it. But yeah, he doesn't move ever. So he is completely safe. The Dorado is safe. He has fulfilled his mission for that. And now it is time for his Zen and we salute you, Sebastian. And we need a thumbnail. Oh, and it's the day that all the, the, the petals are going everywhere? Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> they land in the water. Oh, because this is classified as a pond. That's classified as a stream. This is classified as a small pond. So they just land in there and then sink. <sighs> This game is adorable. This game never ceases to amaze me. It really doesn't. All right, so I'm in the middle of of doing my fossils for the day because I let like three days build up and I'm going through them because I want to have two dinosaurs that are three parts each here. And then I went through the list of every single fossil possible. And right here I have a mammoth, which is very similar to a mastodon. There is a specific species in the pterodactyl class or family. There's the triceratops, there's a saber-toothed tiger, and there's a tyrannosaurus rex. <laughs> so I'm going to be collecting these and hopefully have all of the parts of the five dinosaurs of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, this is long-term goals. Long-term- No one send me fossils. Do not send me fossils. That's- That's Senthra's job. No one send me fossils. I don't want anyone's fossils. I want to do this on my own. I have a long time till I have Robot Hero complete, alright? So just from doing this, I'm now at 299 of 300 pop balloons. Do you hear that? I hear it. That sounds like our 300th balloon! Thank you, Easter Day! Whoop! It's raining treasure. Hallelujah. Now I should be expecting a gold balloon to come by, and I don't know if this follows the same spawning rules as regular balloons, as far as when it can spawn. Learning what I learned from my Zen garden, laying down custom paths is so much easier now. Like, I don't need to go to my menu every two seconds. Instead, I just find everything that's that's direction, and I just boop it down, and I boop it down. Oh! There it is! There it is! It was while Goose was talking to me. Great, great, I learned how to sneeze. Ah, oh, there it is! Present! And inside of here is the DIY for the golden slingshot. Huh? Okay, sweet. I learned how to make a golden slingshot. Let's go make a golden slingshot. This is going to be my first crafted golden tool. Even the ball is gold. Nice. It looks like the ball is gold, but the band is purple. So I don't know if it's the projectile is going to be gold or it's going to be purple. It's gold. Ah. Uh. That's so awesome. You are not allowed to customize the golden slingshot, so it has a fixed durability that cannot be renewed. So the regular slingshot has a durability of 20, 
But as of right now, the outdoorsy slingshot, the colorful slingshot, and the golden slingshot do not have documented durabilities. Okay, listen up. If you're watching me right now, then this event ends, I think, April 14th, and we're gonna have less and less balloon drops. So if you're playing the game a lot, I recommend grinding up and make sure you get those 300 balloon drops because it's gonna be a while. Now that the higher up part of my Zen garden is, I'd say pretty much done, I wanted to do something down here just cause, uh, it, it, I just have this awkward gap of a lot of cobblestone. I decided I was going to just plant some bamboo here and let it be natural. Also, I don't know if bamboo can grow on sand, but I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? And uh, after a little bit of work, I'm actually really happy with how this came out. Like, I, I didn't want to make it fully enclosed, so I only did the corners of the areas. The red on the sand with the green, ugh. It's like, it's like we got primary colors working here. But anyways, guys, I'm wrapping up this video. You know what? I, I want to do, I want to do something new where I end my videos in my micro environments. So guys, I'm wrapping up this video. Oh, it's such a nice view. It's so nice. Oh, that's a mood. That's a mood. If only when I went into the screensaver options, it didn't, or the, the screenshot options, it didn't make it like 720p and it nasty looking. But guys, I'm wrapping up this video. If you haven't done so, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. That lets me know that you like this. <laughs> Until next time, Austin John out.